walked in, the lady was naked on the couch. Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Traveling Gun. My name is Thomas, I'm a regional flight attendant. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to my returning subscribers, thank you for the support. So obviously I've already got my day started. Uh, I'm here in Lexington and I'm working the 200. I tried my best to get out of this trip, tried to swap it out with somebody, but nobody wanted it. And the reason why I wanna get out of this trip is it's not as productive of a trip. It's only worth 17 hours. I was trying to get more hours, you know, without going into my off days. Then I got a notification. I was bought off part of my trip for OE. And what OE is, is when new hires come out of training, they have to train on the different aircrafts. Now on a 200, there can only be two flight attendants, the trainer, and then the trainee. So I got bought off partial of my leg and that made the trip more inefficient. So I do these two days like I did Atlanta to Detroit, sat in Detroit for three hours, did a Dayton, Ohio turn, and then I made it to Lexington. So I don't leave tomorrow until three o'clock and I'm not even working. I'm dead heading to Atlanta, sit in Atlanta for two hours and 45 minutes. Then I work a flight to Brunswick. Then on day three, I go from Brunswick to Atlanta. I'm done, go home because they bought me off my, uh, the rest of my legs for that day. Then on day four, I just come to the airport, dead head to Columbus, Mississippi to work the flight back. That's all I do. But it is what it is. Nobody wanted it. I had to work it and I'm definitely not gonna call off just for that, um, you know, because I don't wanna work a trip. I just gotta, you know, muscle it out. But other than that, I am going to go out and get a workout in. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day two. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is day two and pretty much I'll operate one leg. Dead from Lexington to Atlanta, sit for two hours and 45 minutes. And then I uh, work a flight to Brunswick, which is about a 45 minute flight. And if you don't know what Brunswick is, Brunswick is in is on the coast of Georgia, on the East Coast. It's in like Southeast Georgia. It's probably 45 minutes to an hour from Jacksonville. So that's how close it is to uh, Florida. Um, other than that, that is really, it's a lot of changes coming within the company um, that I'm working for right now. None that really affects me, but it may affect other people. Um, and it's not something that I can actually actively talk about it because it's not public knowledge, but there are a lot of changes that are coming um, down the line. And, you know, it's just one of those things, this, this industry is always changing consistently. So you just have to plan accordingly and just uh, plan for the best for yourself if, if you see that it's going to affect you in a negative way. But other than that, I'm going to get ready and go downstairs to catch this uh, shuttle to the airport for my deadhead. And I'll see you guys a little bit later on tonight once I get to Brunswick. Hello everybody, I made it here to Brunswick. Today has been an easy day, I'm not even tired. You know, with the deadhead, then the two hour sit, then just the one flight here, which is like a 45 minute flight. That's pretty much it. Um, also, they changed my schedule again. So, you know how I said I was supposed to go home tomorrow, then come back on Sunday to just deadhead for the one flight and then operate it back. 
So crew scheduling called me while I was on my deadhead and left me a message and said that they went ahead and took that away from me and said it was inefficient for the company. And I was like, crew scheduling using the word inefficient? And if you're in the industry, you know that's a joke because a lot of times what crew scheduling does doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But they took that away from me. So after I, tomorrow, I go home. So this four day that I only worked maybe what, four legs? turned into a technically a three day but i'm done by 1 30 tomorrow so it happens like that sometimes when we have training classes you can kind of not saying you can time it up because you it's no guarantee to know if they're going to buy you off your trip because of oe um more than likely if there's a training class that's coming out or just graduating and within those next few weeks after graduating they're going to be using our aircrafts for OE, it's a possibility that they can buy your own, but it's no way for us to actually know, hey, if I pick up this trip, I'm going to be bought off and I can, you know, not work or whatever like that. So, but they told me they took it away from me. They're going to use a reserve. I still get paid for it. And they said it didn't make any sense since I was bought off the rest of my legs for OE and it made no sense for me to just work that one leg, basically. So, but other than that, um, I'm going to work out and uh, try to burn off this energy because I'm not tired whatsoever because I didn't start until three o'clock. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for Go Home Day. Good morning, everybody. Today is Go Home Day. Uh, just the one leg from Brunswick to Atlanta and then I'm done off of now three days. It was two, now I'm off of three. Uh, Brunswick, fun fact, Brunswick was my very first layover as a flight attendant and my very first experience of lock your room door when you come in. Because when I first got here, um, they gave me a room that was double booked. So I, I, my key worked, walked in, lady was naked on the couch. I immediately walked back out. So that was my first introduction to always make sure you lock your door right behind you. And this was my very first layover city. So, uh, you know, I've been here a few times after that, but that's, I just wanted to throw that out there as like a little fun fact of, make sure you always do lock your room doors right behind you because sometimes they do, Double book by accident, you know, human error. We all are humans, you know, but um, mistakes can happen. But I'm going to get ready and go downstairs. I'll see you guys once I get home to close out the video. Hello, everybody. So I'm finished with my trip. Uh, obviously, I got done a lot early. Um, I want to say a quick shout out to Nikki. She's a subscriber of mine who worked for the company. I've been running into her at least once a month. Uh, throughout this summer, mostly in New York. Today, I ran into her in Atlanta. I want to thank you for supporting my channel. And um, and it's always nice to see you. Maybe one day we'll work together. But, you know, this trip was easy. Um, you know, my day got cut short because I got bought off OE. And like I said before, it's no way you could plan this. I didn't plan it. It just happened that way. Um, but, you know, guess what? I'm just going to take it for what it is and enjoy the extra day off. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. As always, hug on the ones that you love. Tell the ones that you love that you love them.